my body. Wait, I jumped at two parts. <laughs> Wait, what part? What part of the episode are you on? Um, so it was one where Arya was like running from them inside the in thing, the like library or whatever. Yeah, she was sneaking by, <laughs> and then she turned the corner, and one of them was just like, bam! All right, everybody, welcome to Hot Couch Potato, the podcast where we talk about video games and Hawaiian breakfast. My name is Brent, a.k.a. Boo Wop. I'm here with my man's Rick, a.k.a. A New Perfect Day. What's going on, man? I don't know what they put in the local moco, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> like, when we have that shit, I think it might have been the bacon mixed with... Uh, I made the custom local moco, so uh-huh. I had, like, bacon, Portuguese sausage, rice, and egg, and gravy. And, dude, as soon as I got home, I knocked out for four or five <laughs> hours, man. Like, I could, I, I was literally super weak, and I was like, I've never felt this way. Even I didn't even want to get coffee. That's how bad it was. So I was like... <laughs> Maybe I need to buy a Keurig. It's about that time. Oh, yeah. Just pot it up. What is it called? Oh, K-Cup. K-Cup it up, man. Yeah, K-Cup all it the up. the K-Cups and this shit in there. But yeah, no, nah, the Locomoco with the fried rice. Oh, that was amazing. I think they put some, they put little nuggets of, of Portuguese sausage. In yeah, the they fried do. Rice eat, so got some morsels here and there, man. But oh, man, the burger patty they put was just super thick on, on their Locomoco, man. Dude, they don't um, play, man. Everything's super fresh. Good. Yeah, yeah. No, that was super good. Rick took us, or it took me my first time. I hadn't been there ever to uh, Leilani's in PB. Super good. Hell man. yeah. Oh yeah. I have to go back soon. I'm like craving it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know me too. For no reason, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should just make some at home, you know, try to perfect the recipe, dude. But the biggest thing for me is like getting the gravy right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. When um I tried to create a loco moco at I think it was the broken yolk mm. and i didn't know they had two different gravies but they bought me the the traditional gravy you put on like turkey and shit oh like that. gross yeah the lighter so I, one yeah so i put it on my uh my food and i was like this is not the same i was expecting <laughs> the other gravy <laughs> wait they have white rice and broken yolk yeah and oh. they have the other type of gravy too but I guess they got confused, and I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? I don't want to disturb them. I'm eating next <laughs> to my boss. I don't want to like look bad. So I was like, you know what? Just I'll just eat it, and then it was a horrible mistake. <laughs> Damn! So you know what the difference is, man? Once you once you're like a millionaire, you're gonna yeah. you can afford to make those demands, dude. <laughs> you can afford to ruin their day. <laughs> hey, I didn't ask for this gravy. Give me the darker one. <laughs> yeah. Even though it wasn't part of the check or the combo. <laughs> See, you'll be rich enough to make it part of the combo, dude. <laughs> That's funny. That was just something I was realizing today. There's so much, dude. So much I want to do in the world, in my life, dude. But I just have no money to fucking do it, bro. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I have, like, so many countries I want to visit, but fuck. We got to make sure we go, at least go to PAX. Yeah, for yeah. Traveling. No, that's 100%, dude. Cause oh, man, it's coming up. It's about to be summer soon. Actually, I'm lying, dude. It's about to be summer. But do you see? Have you been outside today? It's fucking raining, or at least it rained around where no I live. No way, dude. really, dude. I got home after watching um, Game of Thrones, which we won't spoil because Rick hasn't finished it yet. But I got home after watching Game of Thrones. Dude, the ground was all wet. All the grass and shit was all wet. I was like, what? Did it really? I thought Holy. it was sunny all day today. Exactly. I didn't see any. Co- well, that's the thing too. I, I was knocked out half of the day, you know, from the local <laughs> local. So that is crazy. I think it might have been the bacon, the bacon, the bacon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because I don't know what it is. Like the biggest part, like I said, I'm worried about in if I were to make my own local mocha would be the gravy because I just don't want to do the little powder with water shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want to do something legit. Like I think people really make that shit with like. The bacon fat and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They mix it all together, so I need to find a way to perfect it. Unless they sell it like the, like the Japanese curry packets, you know, that you could buy and you just boil it up. Yeah, because those are pretty good on their own too. But gotta learn how to make it, dude. So I can enjoy it every day. <laughs> um, mentioned Game of Thrones. Yeah, we won't spoil that because Rick hasn't finished it yet, dude. But it was interesting. I think you had an interesting point how the show has turned from like politics and medieval times to uh, what'd you say, World War Z men? 
<laughs> yeah, hell yeah oh, it went from zero to 60 like dude it was politics conspiracy mm-hmm. and then backstabbing and then war and then all of a sudden it was like a war against zombies and then no first it was a war against dragons then it was a war against zombies <laughs> and then now it's a lo- i don't know when to spoil i don't know it's a losing war so i don't know <laughs> it's world war z it's so funny. and now it's resident evil status <laughs> right now i had to turn down the volume <laughs> so rick hasn't finished the episode yet we he kind of paused right in the middle of the episode to record the podcast yet so it's so funny like Hearing your reaction to what's going on. Oh, man. No, I can't even say anything. I don't want to spoil it for you. But <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's crazy what it's turned into. And I don't know. It's kind of interesting to think what, what the point is. You know what I mean? I mean, even if they live or if they die, what happens after? Seriously, just has a whole army still anyways. You know what I mean? So they're going to like, if they win, they like come back. Oh, yeah, guys, we won. Now let's fucking fight Cersei. Are you serious? <laughs> Exactly. The fucking army is already dead. The I dragon's know, about to be dead. I don't know. But still, I'm like thinking, man, the author, all he wanted was medieval zombies. And he fucking <laughs> got it, dude. And we had to wade through a bunch of bullshit to get here. But we got here, dude. <laughs> yeah. It was a trap. He was like, let's do it about politics and conspiracy. And fucking Psych, It's about and zombies. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny too. While we were reading uh, Locomocos today, Rick was like, "Man, because <laughs> you had just caught up and you found out that John and uh, Daenerys are oh, related." Yeah. I was like, "Man, why is this guy writing about incest so much?" <laughs> and Rick didn't know what uh, George R. R. Martin looked like, so I told Rick to picture George R. R. Martin in his head, and I showed him a picture. Of course, that's the guy that's writing about shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's how i was like dude is this his fantasy how come they're allowing this stuff i don't know it's like i thought it was illegal um, no no it's not i guess it's not illegal freedom of speech but still <laughs> no but i mean even in you know olden times not too far long ago maybe the past couple hundred years or so like royal families were just incesting themselves out right like france yeah. and england royals would get together and then their kids somewhere down along the lines far enough would get together you know what i mean i thought it would be like ice and fire you know (laughs) if he was destined to be king but in a subtle way not destined to be king with his aunt or something like that (laughs) that's crazy now the question is i was like how old is she now if if that was the case she has to be at least 16 20 years older than him Hmm, that's interesting because, yeah, she was old enough to remember when they left uh, King's Landing. Or maybe she's not. Her brother was old enough. Maybe she's a little bit younger. So maybe I'd guess the least she's maybe four or five years older than John. Hmm. Because she was already a kid and he was born at the end of the war. She had to be like three, four, or five at the end of the war, too. So I, it can't be too much. She's definitely older, though. How does she feel about John, though, right now after oh, John course, revealed man. it? She's pissed, dude. <laughs> she didn't <laughs> believe it, remember? She was yeah. like, oh, your brother and your best friend told you that you're a Targaryen? Fuck you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's fucked up that the first thing she worried about, too, after she heard that was... That means you're next in line to be king or whatever. You know, not even thinking about like, uh, we're related. We totally boned a dude. <laughs> <laughs> not just that, but that holy shit, you know, that he can be king before her. That's kind of, it's kind of shallow. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Hmm. But no, I'm excited for you to finish the episode, dude. It's it's well worth it. Um, There's three more episodes too, man. So a lot could happen still. Um. It's an emotional episode, dude. A lot of people are going to die, man. I don't know if you've yeah. seen people die already. Oh, yeah. You've yeah. seen someone die already. Spoiler alert for Game of Thrones. You saw What's-His-Name die, which, you know, he's not a major, major character. Uh, what's his name? Beric Sardarian, the dude with he's one eye and the flaming sword. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't too much of a main character. He played a huge part near the end. Um, he served his purpose yeah exactly i mean he was brought back to life like six times to do it you know what i mean yeah (laughs) (laughs) but should he die but yeah no more hammonds man so i'm excited for you to finish um kind of uh 
prerequisite or a precursor to um what is this to game of thrones you know because we knew a lot of people were gonna die in game of thrones was fucking avengers dude we knew a bunch of people were gonna die in avengers right sure (laughs) (laughs) spoiler alert for avengers endgame by the way we're gonna just crack the whole thing open bro if you haven't actually seen it by now then r.i.p um skip the cop podcast yeah dude just listen after you finish the movie man but honestly man i thought everybody was gonna die i thought so too right and i guess yeah yeah i don't know like i I would think they would die in the middle of battle i thought at least the op people would die like thor well thor wouldn't be able to die because he's like one of the last as guardians um but i thought at least captain america hulk iron man uh what's her name scarlet witch Mm -hmm. um and like black Black panther i thought all of them would die because they're like the strongest ones you know what i mean uh yeah but at the end of it all when all was said and done when the dust had settled man uh only tony stark and uh black widow died dude (laughs) (laughs) and that was the thing too i was like everyone's mourning and crying over tony but what about uh black widow nobody cared dude (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> exactly they're like oh man i'm sad for like two seconds but hey i got over it you know <laughs> but they had a full-blown funeral for uh tony <laughs> all that happened was the hulk threw a chair <laughs> Fucking Black Widow, dude. that was it that was her funeral <laughs> tony stark had like a flowers and his little original like repulsor thing like in the in the wreath and that floated away <laughs> black widow had a fucking chair in the water dude <laughs> but don't let, don't let this make you think that you know we didn't like the movie i think the movie's great i think it was a perfect like yeah i thought so too. ending to the at least this phase of avengers what is it like phase two like the mm-hmm. og phase i think it's like a perfect ending it was really just a celebration of all the movies that they've made over the past shit, like 11 years or however long it's been, you know? Yeah. But I think the, my, my main gripes and we'll get rid of the negatives before we talk about the positives is, um, time travel can get a little bit screwy, you know, Mm -hmm. when you involve time travel into anything. And I think this movie suffered from a little bit of the screwiness too. Um, and that whole part between Black Widow and Hawkeye about who would commit suicide first was kind of ridiculous to me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that whole part, I was like, over it, dude. Like, whoever throws himself off, I'm not going to be upset about, you know? Turns out nobody really was anyways <laughs> in the theater. <laughs> That's what I was, like, wondering, too. I was like, when did they create that bond? You know, I remember in Avengers, the first mm-hmm. one, she was like, oh, yeah, I have that ledger that I want to cross out, whatever, shenanigans. And I was like, oh, okay, she's, like, a top assassin. So here you are just suddenly having this random feelings. And, you know, Hawkeye has already a family. So what's going on? You know, what what? I don't understand. I thought it's supposed to be whoever you got to sacrifice your loved one in mm. order to get the soul stone. But uh, I guess that's sort of the case. I think she was precious enough to him. I think they were brought up in the S.H.I.E.L.D. program all the same. You know what I mean? You could definitely tell they were uh, close in like the first Avengers because she was like super upset when he got possessed, right? By uh-huh. uh, Loki, by the staff. Um, so I think there's, there's a little bit more to their relationship than the movies ever showed, you know, kind of just sucks for Black Widow. She's always been the bridesmaid, never the bride, right? Mm. Like she had a whole movie Winter Soldier with, where she was just kicking it with Captain America the whole time, but he was in love with old girl from World War II, you know? Yeah. Her and the Hulk had a thing, but never really worked out too. <laughs> Clint uh Hawkeye was already married, dude, so that was never gonna work out. So <laughs> there was like nowhere else for her character to really go, right? Exactly. Like, her family was the Avengers, so she was willing to do anything to to keep the Avengers alive. Um which is all right. I think it would have been cool if they had if she had her own movie, you know? Yeah. If they did like uh what was her name? 
I think Jennifer Lawrence came out with a movie like Red Sparrow or something where she turns into an assassin. If they just did that, but with Black Widow, that would have been pretty sick, I think. Um, but yeah, I think those are my really my only complaints, dude, is like time travel gets a little funky, even though the way they did it in the movie was pretty fun. And then Black Widow jumping off. So what happened first? They like shook hands and Hawkeye judo threw her to the ground. And then, and then she, she turned threw, it like, around. Like a taser at him or something. And, and then, tased him and then he exploded her, which <laughs> she could have died. <laughs> and then he ran and jumped off, but she put a grapple she hook on him. Grappled him <laughs> because she can fall faster for some reason. <laughs> More aerodynamic, dude. She had a tighter suit on. <laughs> <laughs> mine was and I, I mentioned this earlier it's just i was wondering about the whole time situation and mm-hmm. blowing by their logic if you know of course you can't go back in the past and change the past to change the their current future so but what they did was like oh with the time stones you have to put it back in the same place where you right when you took it mm-hmm. and i was like thinking okay then if that applies that has to apply to the people because if thanos from the past goes into the future then the thanos in the past has no there's no thanos to go collect the stones mm-hmm. because he mm-hmm. died in the future mm-hmm. so that be- creates another alternate reality but it would be consistent if that's where tony stark snapped him. his yeah, yeah. He snapped. Yeah, sent them back to the past, erased their memories, and then that's then you know then that's where they can break that that infinite loop or that alternate reality. And I was like, that's cool. That's cool. You know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it really depends on where. Yeah, Tony Stark sent him with the snap. You know, if he sent him back to, maybe he just sent them back in their own time. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Like right before they decided to go with the plan to invade mm-hmm. the future you know but i i thought that was still awesome though like the battle and everything. oh man I, there's that <sighs> moment before everybody rolls through where it's just uh captain america his shields all broken and he's like walking towards thanos and all the armies coming through oh that, yeah people that part was crazy man you get that, like a poster or something you know it's dude. like a light shining on him as he's walking towards with a broken dude. shield dude yeah that hell yeah dude sick. people were noting that like i was reading the comments and it's like instead of like feeling defeated you can see actually captain america like uh, tightening his straps on the mm-hmm. shield mm-hmm. and gripping it and i was like dude with a broken shield he still yeah. is down to protect the world and i'm like man that's why he is worthy yeah that was one of the bigger moments too when he finally when he pulled the fucking hammer was it mjolnir yeah and uh <laughs> okay wait first the thor dude <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> so crazy (laughs) thor just turned into a fucking alcoholic and got all washed up and shit dude (laughs) (laughs) Um, but anyways he was getting his ass kicked by thanos real quick thanos was like stomping him out you know and uh it showed like a flash of the mjolnir like moving you know so he thought okay cool thor is gonna pull the hammer and fucking uppercut thanos with it and get up and start fighting again and no, it doesn't go to him. It flashes across Thanos and fucking Iron Man's holding it, dude. <laughs> oh, man. That got, I think, the biggest reaction in the theater that I was watching it in, dude, was that moment. That moment was Hell yeah. Crazy. And then he was able to summon the lightning, too, the mm-hmm. lightning strikes. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, my God. And the way he threw his shield through the hammer and oh, it bounced yeah, back and hit him yep. back. I was like, oh, man. Well, that's what I was wondering, too. If if that was the case, his shield should have went the other way, not back to Captain America. But, you know, nah, it's Captain it's America. Physics, so. dude. You know, he has expert physics, man. He's Captain Physics as well as Captain America. Exactly. <laughs> and I was wondering, too, I guess this is my second. Like, how strong is Thanos? Like, when he's battling, you know, yeah. he was super crazy powerful. But then in the past one, you know, he was kind of getting hit beat up a little bit and you know defeated and i was like how come it didn't show that in the past but in this battle he was like crazy powerful yeah i think he was wearing his armor first and foremost <laughs> then he had his uh you know darth maul double-edged scythe sword thing spear thing or whatever it was so he was owning it up with that but yeah what 
alien race is Thanos, dude? Are they they're Titans or something? Shit, I don't know. But he was able to destroy part of the shield, so I was like, God damn. What my, is he? My whole thing is is how come you killed half of your own race? If you had an army of your own race, you guys would fucking own. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Like what uh, it doesn't say what he is, dude. Oh, he's an eternal deviant hybrid. I have no idea what that is. I just Wikipedia'd it right now. Someone who's a bigger comic fan than I will ever be can probably explain that. But yeah, it's wild, man. I I can I can't explain it at all. Cause yep. you're right, he was owning, dude. <laughs> yeah, everybody, and he's blocking all of their attacks. Except for Scarlet Witch, man. Oh she yeah, she was tearing. She was tore his ass up. She's potentially the the strongest avenger man um but th- that was i thought they kind of rushed that a little bit um when everybody came back and then the resolution the ending i feel like they rushed did the movie feel like three hours to you no it felt like two hours <laughs> yeah it didn't feel long at all to me man i was like ready for more because it kind of ended with like we said, Tony Stark's funeral when they were floating those flowers away. And then I think the Hulk... Oh, no. And I think Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch were talking a little bit about um, maybe Black Widow and um, Vision or something like that. And then it was the whole thing with Captain America becoming old Captain America. And yeah. And that was it, dude. There needs to be way more resolution to be, man. <laughs> we need to hear everybody's thoughts about what happened with thing, you know? Yeah, what happened to Grimora? I guess. Oh, that. Oh, that's what mm-hmm. I was going to ask too. Mm-hmm. Like, if 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 Tony returns everybody to back to the past, I guess he had to return her back to the past because, you know, like if you think about it, if she died or she stayed in the future, then there's no her. In the past, to to become the spirit, be a sacrifice, the soul stone, huh? That's interesting. Again, so I think for me, my explanation for it, right, is there's one timeline that starts it, right, mm. and then the one timeline goes through, and it's Thanos collecting the stones to where we are, to Thanos snapping and killing half the universe, right? Yeah. That's one timeline. I think from the point where, um. They start stealing the stones, doing their time heist, and Thanos time travels to the future. I think that branches off and becomes its own timeline. So everything that happens in that timeline is not related to Thanos that collects the stones and all that. You know what I mean? (laughs) But didn't uh, that wizard lady, she was like, you have to return it back to the past to restore uh, the original timeline. That's very true, yeah. And at the same time, I think that's what they were trying to explain when it's like, you know, oh, we can't talk to ourselves. We can't kill any bugs or something like that. And that's when Bruce Banner was trying to explain or the Hulk was trying to explain like, no, it's not like what you saw in the movies. It's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that they tried to explain it, but didn't really put anybody at ease about time travel because we all have the same beliefs about time travel as they do. You know what I mean? Where you really can't talk to yourself. It's going to cause a paradox and all kinds of bullshit. Yeah. Captain America was fighting himself. So I was like, oh man, you're already exposed. What's her name? Uh, The robot chick. She killed herself. So, you know what I mean? See? So that's what I'm saying. I think it's, (laughs) I think they have their own timeline that ends up with Thanos snapping his fingers and everything that they did on their time heist, that just made a branch of a different time. It doesn't affect like, the original one at all you know what i mean i think that's what they were trying to trying to explain in that um because it'll even get more fuckity if you think about loki escaped you know what i mean because <laughs> tony stark was trying to escape with the tesseract and he drops it loki kind of picks it up and disappears you know exactly so he created another timeline <laughs> for that <laughs> but but they go further back in time and steal the tesseract anyways so what what becomes a reality now, you know? Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. That's the whole thing is just time travel gets kind of funky. But I think they tried to explain it or set it up enough to reveal the consequences that this isn't going to be what we normally think time travel is. You know, it's it, it kind of plays by its own rules that they can't fuck up 
timelines too much, you know? Um, but no, it was great. I think another good reaction from the crowd was when they went back to New York during the first Avengers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was fucking awesome when they showed that one shot of them, like, beating everything up and the camera circles around the Avengers for the first time. Hell, yeah. And they show... Well, they show they show Tony Stark, Ant Man, and fucking the Hulk in an alley somewhere. <laughs> They're just watching the Hulk beat some shit up and crush a car and stuff. He's like, "Oh yeah, you might want to smash along the, your way wherever you're going." <laughs> he just like stomps on a car. He's like, "Oh," uh, uh, and he tosses the motorcycle <laughs> gently. <laughs> uh, man. But no, that's what was so great about it is because all these characters came back that you forgot about, you know. Um, Hulk went over to where the Sorcerer Supreme was to try and get the Time Stone from her. I totally forgot her name. The one that trained um, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. And she fucked him up, dude. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) She fucking Buddhist palmed her out of his body. (laughs) Yeah. Because it's true, too. You know, if if he didn't return the Time Stone Mm -hmm. back to her, then Dormammu would have actually ruled the world. Yeah. 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 Because that's the way that What's his name was able to be Dormammu have come to bargain. <laughs> That's still the greatest dude. <laughs> and Dormammu's like, stop coming back. He's he like, gets all pissed. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I won't touch you. Stop. We can do this over and over. Oh man. But How that we can not do that with Thanos, you know? Thanos have uh, come to yeah. bargain. Maybe the the stones have immunity to the other time stone. Maybe. Yeah. See, there's there's so many other ways they could have potentially solved it um like and i think see that's what they're saying too is what do they say when war machine suggested that they should just go back in time and kill baby thanos you know or thanos and they're like no it doesn't work like that it's always gonna happen that he you know he uh collects all the stones and snaps so i don't know maybe upon second viewing when we watch this movie again uh, we'll catch on to more of these things. Um, also, I was wondering, inquiring, actually, like, you know how the Hulk brings back everybody? Brings how back is... Everybody. Okay, yeah. When he snaps his fingers. Yeah. Uh, how is it from that point to, I guess, when they get hit and summoned, um... They had like literally maybe, I don't know, half an hour to an hour to summon all the forces of that caliber Mm -hmm. to help Captain America. Like they called everybody. Hmm. Maybe they had to realize what was going on because. So quick. hmm. Oh, because maybe Doctor Strange had to travel to Wakanda. Had to travel to New York. Had to go I'm back saying, in space. Hey, I need, your, I need your help. Hey, He's like, hey, yeah, guys, <laughs> let's get together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> it was all the sorcerers that were opening up the portals, you know. So I guess yeah. organizing that, it had to take time of uh, Thor. That was the most badass part too, dude. When Thor was just like standing out there looking at uh, Thanos just sitting down. And they Captain America and Iron Man roll up and just say, how long has he been there? He's like, he's long enough. He's just waiting. And they just walk down and start fighting him, dude. Hell yeah. That part yep. was sick, too. Yep. Um, but, yeah, I think it just took time. <laughs> Plus, we, we needed to see the, the fight, you know. Um, but, yeah, they kind of rushed. Like, Scarlet Witch should have had way more fighting to do with Thanos, man. She fucked him up. Yeah. Just lifted him up and was tearing his armor off. And I was like, ooh, where is this going? I know, man. <laughs> And he had he said, rain fire. <laughs> <laughs> I would have like used my Scarlet Witch powers and just closed his mouth so he wouldn't say that. <laughs> um, oh, dude. So another thing. Do you think that Captain Marvel was supposed to play a bigger role in this movie? Yes. And I think they kept her out because she's too powerful. You think so? You don't think it's because that the movie didn't get the reception they thought it was going to get? No, because I think they already were working on the movie while releasing that other movie. Mm -hmm. So they Mm -hmm. couldn't change any of the plot or anything like that. Gotcha. And they already, like, knew how powerful she was. So they were like, you know what, let's put her out into space saving somebody or something like that. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. so that's why she came later to destroy that ship. Maybe. 
Because that's the argument, too, all the time, right? <laughs> it's like, where was uh, Captain Marvel the whole time? Look, dude, the Earth isn't the only one with problems. All right, man. There's thousands yeah. of planets out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, they don't have any Avengers. I'm so sick of her, man. <laughs> I know, they don't have the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but good times dude yeah i'm totally down to, to watch that shit again dude it oh was yeah so good um yeah everybody got to see their parents again thor saw his mom tony stark got to kick it with his dad um, captain america and his yeah girlfriend. his girlfriend yeah dude that was good man how come bucky didn't go back with captain america that's i don't know I'm yeah wondering. that's interesting maybe he I don't know. Do you think he knew that Captain America wasn't going to come back? I think he had a hint because when yeah. I was like watching his reaction when he didn't come back, mm-hmm. that's when he like realized, oh, I know where he is. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. 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 I thought it was more interesting too that he didn't become the next Iron Man. You know, that's what I was saying. I thought it was supposed to be Winter Soldier. Yeah. But, yeah. But I didn't you say or you heard that there was comics where. Um, Sam turns into Winter Soldier too. Yeah, or it turns exactly. into Winter, turns into Captain America too. Captain America. Yeah. And I was like wondering, I was like, he doesn't have the Super Soldier. Like, what about that? Like, I thought that's the reason why Captain America can throw his shield and the shield can come back to him. With yeah. Awesome trajectory. Yeah. Who knows? But uh, maybe he keeps his wings too, so he can fly and just fly and the throw shield. it. Yeah. Or he uses like his wing to help him throw it. You know. Mm. Yeah. But, but does he have the strength to catch it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he uses a wing to catch it. <laughs> but you can definitely see where they're setting up for the next phase. I think we, they got to hold off for a little bit, man. Just like with Star Wars, after this movie in December, they're done making Star Wars movies for a while. I think they need to stop making uh, like superhero movies for a while. You know, Maybe Spider-Man might be the next closest thing up, but they can't release that for a while, man. I think people are in like fatigued with watching all this stuff too much. Um, mm. so they should give it a break because it'll be that much better when it comes back. The longer they make people wait, it'll be that much better. Um, but you can see where they're setting it up for the future Avengers. Uh, Spider Man's going to be in it for sure. Um, there's going to be that little kid that's uh, going to be the next Iron Man from Iron Man 3. Um, who else is there, dude? Let's give me the next Avengers. I think the Hulk is going to be like a beast type character from X Men. He's just going to kick it and be Help the guy, out. be the guy in the Bat Cave that gives him all the information. You know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if Ant Man. I don't think Ant Man will be in it anymore. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy and Thor. Oh, uh, there you go. I like that. As Guardians of the Galaxy, that's pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> that was so great too like oh we know who the leader of this crew is or we know who the captain of this shit is don't we <laughs> just the sure way you are thor yeah. was looking at him in the air it's like oh yeah it's you man it's you dude <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh we have some knives in the back we could fight <laughs> like oh no we don't need to do that <laughs> and then he's like ha 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 <laughs> so fake dude <laughs> Oh, man. But, yeah, no, that movie's too good, man. That movie's too good. Um, it's really a, a worthy ending. I think it's hard. I think you, if, you know, well, no, we can't even say that. We've seen so many people fail at this, kind of making a bunch of movies that are interconnected, you know, for Marvel to make all those and get to a point where they end it, I think, in a great way, almost a perfect way is 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 very cool, you know? Because mm-hmm. DC couldn't do it. <laughs> oh yeah, they try to rush everything. <laughs> yeah, it's like they were trying to play catch up when they should have just went at their own pace, you know. Yeah. Um, who else couldn't do it? The Godzilla King Kong, that universe barely did it. You know, the next Godzilla movie looks fucking crazy. By the way, it dude. does. Yeah. That movie looks tight. We are their pets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Godzilla's world. We just live in it. <laughs> that looks sick um what else there was supposed to be like some monsters universe kind of thing with uh m- the remake of the mummy with tom cruise and there was like a dracula movie and uh there was supposed to be like a frankenstein and a werewolf movie where all those guys would like 
save the world. There was a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde movie too, where all those guys would help save the world eventually. That never took off. I think that only made it two movies, you know? Yeah. So yeah. to see where everybody tried to copy the formula and didn't make it, I think makes you appreciate the Marvel Cinematic Universe even more, dude. Because, um, yeah, you really never know if someone's a good singer until you hear a bad singer, right? Yeah. <laughs> you never really appreciate, oh, man, like Rick. Rick can really sing, dude. But <laughs> that's because you've heard people that are way worse than Rick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, dude. Anything else on Avengers? That's I, I'm still on the train. I watched that shit last night, so I'm still hype about it, man. Yeah, I'm trying to think of uh, things that I was just wondering about, but yeah, for the most part, I I really enjoyed it. Like everything about it. Yeah. Especially the flow of you know when they were going into the past, it, it mm-hmm. didn't feel too rush or anything. Because I was wondering, I was like, how are they gonna? you know, come back from this. How are they going to, what, they're going to fight Thanos, get his glove back and snap his, someone's fingers. But mm-hmm. yeah, he destroyed it. And I was like, damn, what do you do? Yeah. Time travel. Okay. That's <laughs> awesome. It's just crazy. They, they had to go, they had to wait five years to pull it off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, they had to wait for that rat to push the button to let, what's his name out <laughs> to let Ant-Man out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, technology too, man. To see a young Kirk Douglas um, when Captain America had to steal the the little, his blood or whatever, you know, the Pym uh, samples or whatever they were called. Yeah. To see his, like, his face all young. Because they've done that before. Remember when they had like uh, a young Robert Downey Jr. When yeah. he was arguing with his dad like in Iron Man 3 or Avengers 2 or whatever it was. Um, that shit is crazy how they do that man we're reaching the the uncanny valley where we won't know what's real and what's fucking cgi soon dude it's gonna yeah. be scary but yeah no that was good time heist that might be the time name of our heist. super group man <laughs> <laughs> and tell me why that was the first thing i did too man last week we talked a lot about city of heroes man that was the first thing i did after i watched avengers was go home and play city of heroes dude Damn, yeah. I actually went home and created uh, Nova. Nova oh, 4 yeah, yeah, yeah. From See, Marvel. Which is why you got to ask yourself just a little bit. What the fuck is NCSoft thinking, dude? By not keeping the game up this long? You know I, I mean? don't know. I, I don't know. All the hype, especially like now. So there's a little bit of drama, you know, last weekend. It was kind of crazy. Um it was funny. I was thinking about like not putting out the podcast at all because we were just talking about City of Heroes, and then that day that it came out Monday, um, they shut down all the servers because <laughs> I guess someone trolled the person that had the servers, uh, pretending to be NCSoft, pretending to take legal actions against them. So the guy got spooked and just shut everything down. You know what I mean? And he just unplugged the server and burned it all. You know, so he wouldn't be legally binded to that shit. Um, it turns out it was just a troll. So by the middle of the week, they brought all that shit back up and I've been playing ever since. Um, and it's grown ever since. I think there's multiple, um, revival efforts right now. Um, and it's all come down to them putting up four different servers. I think two of them are on maintenance right now, but shit, dude, it's kind of wild. What was the highest you ever saw while you were in queue trying to get into the game, man? 11 oh my cousin posted in a picture it was like 2500 or something Shit, like that man. and yeah. but mine was only like 13 no 1500 yeah. i saw 1500 but yeah but literally i always thought oh yeah i'm only 200 away and i would actually be there for a couple of hours mm-hmm. just or stuck around you're that number really waiting for people to log off is the crazy part man exactly so and no one's logging off so that's yeah. retarded because it goes really fast from 500 to 200 oh yeah but then it just completely stops around that number and it just goes one by one like mm-hmm. for every 10 20 minutes and i'm like oh my god mm-hmm. ah. but that and see that should prove anything that there's interest still in this game i mean sure we're probably in a honeymoon phase because Here's something we haven't had for a long time that we just have access to again. So everybody's going to jump in and all the content is 
kind of fresh, you know? I mean, for sure there's people out there that are level 50 already. that have just burned through everything um, to get to level 50. They'll just like power level themselves. But even so, dude, there's so much content in this game, man. Like uh -huh. we could really be playing this shit for years now. You know, even after we've played it for so long and still experienced something new. I barely, this is my first time making a, a going rogue character. I've never done the Praetoria missions before, dude. What? Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I ever did. Because um, yeah. I was too scared about like that no one played on going rogue. So I would never be able to find a team. But it's it's kind of cool, man. There's just, you know, a whole different plot between, oh, man, let's, uh, you know, let's join the rebels but at the same time we'll see if everything in the empire is okay you know like playing both sides a little bit in the story um well yeah no it's 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 kind of crazy how everything's moving along dude um as i said there's a few different revival efforts going on right now i know the one the servers that we play in is part of um this effort called homecoming so we have them to thank for us playing right now. I know that 4chan is trying to get their own um, servers up and running too. That's just going to be the wild, wild west, dude. <laughs> Can you imagine that, man? Can you imagine an MMO where just people from 4chan jump onto? Can you imagine what the heroes are going to be like, dude? Shit, they're going to be <laughs> trolls, man. <laughs> penises on their forehead. <laughs> Because they just did it today, you know, on the City of Hero Discord that we've been on. Um, they've just recently split everything up to where you know the difference now between the Homecoming people, the 4chan people, and who else? I think there's like three main groups. What's the other one? Um, shit, dude. They changed everything already. So I don't even know anymore. There's a Reddit group that's trying to get some servers up. And then the Discord as well is trying to get their own thing up. So there's like a bunch of different efforts. And I think we're in a good spot now, man. I don't think City of Heroes World for disappear again. Just so many people have the access to the code now, you know? Yeah. So it's good times, dude. Have you been able to play at all, man? I feel like you've been in queue. Like for all my life. Yeah, every time you try to play, dude. <sighs> Pretty much. And then when I create my character, I play only a little bit just to get into the city. And then by the time, you know, I log off because it's late. And then next day I do the same old thing. Just wait in queue forever. Get in, create a new character, and then just log off. I'm like, man, it's getting worse though. 2,500. <laughs> and sometimes they restart the servers. Like today, man, I had, I was three hours in. And then right when I was about to get in, they... The server's grayed out, and it kicked me out. And I was like, man, okay, I'm just done for the night today. Damn, dude. Well, I think I checked before, you know, calling you on over here, and I was like 200. So it's not too bad now, I don't think. But for real, once they open up those two other servers, because they only have two open right now, once they open up the other two to have four, I think we'll be in a good spot. Um, But... Yeah, man. It's been too good. I made this brute that is uh, regen and savage melee. I've never played with savage melee before, but it's fucking strong, dude. Cause oh, I bet. Every move you do builds up this like bloodletting power or something like that that stacks up to five, and that makes your powers regenerate faster it makes you do more damage and every attack you have has a damage over time bleed effect so it's fucking op man i was out here tanking shit dude it's kind of crazy hmm. um starting to play masterminds i never really played masterminds before because i was too nervous you know that i would get judged for not knowing how to control my pets and all that stuff i just thought it'd be too much micromanaging for me to handle you know Dude, once um, you upgrade them, and you just all you have to do is send them out, and that's yeah, they, you can actually have them attack uh, one target at a time. You know, it was funny. I thought they sucked because you know I'm doing so many missions with a big group, and I don't want them to wait for me, right? So I would level up maybe four or five times, and then you know I'd still be running through the group. I didn't go to a trainer or anything to level up, right? And my minions were always getting my their asses kicked, you know. Mm -hmm. Then I remember I clicked on one of them and his name was Gray. And I was like, wait, 
what is this? And it was because he's still the same level than I was from when I started doing missions. So everything we were fighting was like five levels higher. <laughs> they were getting their asses kicked, dude. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because you summon them the level of that of what your current level yeah, is at yeah. that summon, and exactly. then when you upgrade, they also like kind of go up in level or depending on what you have, buffs you have. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So it's it's fucking good times like playing it. It's not as intimidating as I I thought it was gonna be. I think now you know we've played games like. Uh, Blade and Soul, Vindictus, and Final Fantasy XIV that have really, you know, taught you how to micromanage and do combos and stuff and be a little bit more interactive rather than just clicking on your powers, you know? Mm. That being a mastermind isn't so um, overwhelming anymore. So I think it's sick. Um, have you jumped into fourteen, by the way, for that Final Fantasy Dude, I'm about stuff? to... I kind of forgot about the five-day thing and now at the pay just so i can get the stuff that i want what no way dude it's over yeah or the 15 is not over yet but the five the free five day is over no way dude fuck i didn't even log in (laughs) 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 that sucks because yeah i just um i just got my one-time password thing removed because i updated my phone so I was able to log in, and then fucking City Heroes came up. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, you don't even know, man. There's so many, like, I've seen so many Doctor Stranges on City Heroes, so many Captain Americas, dude. It's all over the place right now, man. And dude, the, it was hard for me to get the Nova name. Yeah. Someone already took Nova Force, uh, Nova Elite, Nova, everything basically Nova. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, it's because of the Marvel movie. Yeah. They already took everything. See, this is just NC's money that NC saw to just throw it away, dude. Fucking RIP, man. Yep. It's crazy. Because, yeah, there's literally thousands of people trying to play. Because I think each server capacity is 2,000. So you think there's already 2,000 people playing, and that screenshot that John Raymond sent, 2,600 people are waiting in line to play it? That's wild, dude, just for one server. Damn. So, yeah, the interest is there, man. It's fucking awesome right now. We're in, a, we're in a good time right now. Watch tomorrow. The servers get shut down forever again. They're like, oh, NCSoft has sued us. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, it's, it's, a, it's a good time. It's a good time. I'm really enjoying my time I'm putting in. Um I think we've just had a lot more experience in video games and how to how to like min max everything and MMOs and stuff that that's a good time right now. Um, yep. But yeah, dude. Um I was gonna talk about something else, but I forgot, man. See you, Piros. Nah. Been doing missions on there that have been pretty fun. It's cool teaming up as a mastermind, teaming up with like two or three other masterminds, dude. Because you're on a team of eight people is the max, right, that you're on a team with in City Heroes? Yep. And fucking, if everybody summons all their um, minions and you're, like, level 20, you at least have, like, three or four minions out, dude. <laughs> you have, like, a fucking army fighting another army, dude. I did this mission with eight people. I think the person put, like, plus four on the spawns. So it was a shit ton of trolls. We just sent all our ninjas and Helions and all this shit to fight against them. It was like it was like fucking Game of Thrones, dude. It was crazy. And you don't have to do no, anything. No, I don't do anything. I just fucking stand there, dude. In fact, I got a uh, flight just so I could fly above everything and, you know, heal stuff <laughs> under me. Because <laughs> I picked uh, ninjas and radiation. So I do a lot of debuffs and stuff because I think that'll be useful in the later game. Um, the only thing that sucks is like my heal. I have to. St- it's an aura, so I have to stand next to my guys to heal them. <laughs> so I have to like get inside the fight to to heal them up. Um, you can uh, recall them and then heal them and then send them back out. That's true, and that's a lot more micromanaging. Because the thing is, too, I'm setting up my hotkeys, man. In fact, I was looking at a mouse the other day that had like twelve buttons on it. I was like, I might have to pick that up, dude, because <laughs> <laughs> I only have three buttons on my mouse that I can use. And it's way easier, like, using the mouse buttons to, like, the back and forward and the scroll click to, to do powers and stuff, right? Yeah. So I was like, fuck, dude. I need, there's only so many keyboard keys that are in reach without moving my hand too much, but. Are you going to get that uh, keyboard with the, that's like a keypad? No, nah, I don't think so. 
that's just like 60 bucks on its own isn't it yeah something like that i might as well get a full-size keyboard oh let me send you this dude i was looking at this keyboard on kickstarter man i think it's pretty cool i think it's gonna be super loud though oh is it a mechanical keyboard yeah 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 just get this just to just to hang out with you know what i mean um but what else city heroes is fun game of thrones turned into world war z um the avengers was fucking amazing really just a celebration of the marvel cinematic universe hey this thing doesn't have a numpad i know that's why it's great dude it's minimalistic just like me bro Uh, no clutter no clutter um type c holy crap I was huh. oh, I was almost about to pre-order Days Gone because I thought we lost City of Heroes again forever, but it came <laughs> back, so I didn't pre-order it. <laughs> and it's it's kind of tricky, man, because I know eventually I'll want to play that game, but it it is a solid seven out of ten, which is kind of crazy, dude. I had a lot of fun with it at that event. In fact, let me go to Metacritic right now. Have you heard anything about it? Yeah, it got okay reviews, and I was reading some of it, and people are like saying it's kind of repetitive mm-hmm. and doing everything. So I don't know. I think that was like just day one review, but yeah. other than that, I don't know anything past that. Uh, it's currently seventy two on Metacritic on their Meta score, but the user score is seven point nine. So maybe it's gone a little bit up. Eight, eight out of ten. Yeah, that's good then. I th- what people are comparing it to is um mad max oh no mad max at least gameplay wise and i could see where that is boring because i definitely got bored in that game because there's a lot of like driving in the open world which is just a desert and there isn't really towns and stuff there's just forts and shit that you could take over um it's a lot of empty space and yeah there's a lot of repetitiveness and things like that i don't know it's just different the world doesn't feel alive i guess it's not supposed to feel alive because it's post-apocalyptic but they just didn't fill it up with enough different things to to take your time up with it so i don't know i think eventually i'll buy it dude if it's on sale somewhere (laughs) um but yeah i haven't been playing anything else other than city heroes Oh, i played god of war while waiting in queue <laughs> i would fight like one boss and got a war and like oh i'm in the game and just play city of heroes again man i was watching anime videos everything building a desk and i was still stuck in queue <laughs> like man either you're getting in on the right moments or yeah it's like the yeah. right times or something yeah um what about you have you been playing anything else besides uh the queue game Nah, just that. And every time, you know, I have my letter opener in front of my uh, computer. <laughs> the thing is, and I, this is the stupidest reason ever, but basically, I don't like to touch it or open my letters with it. It's uh-huh. because I feel I'm not worthy to hold it unless I beat <laughs> the Sekiro game. <laughs> How far like are you I in Sekiro? Failed it. I mean, Dude, I still, like... still like the, that boss with the horse. Oh Dude, wow! It was so fucking far. But you beat him, right? You just beat him. Yeah, okay, and then okay. I just haven't played video games all week because I've been working a lot of overtime uh-huh. all week and just been tired. So I was supposed to catch up on video games this week weekend, but uh-huh. been you know Avengers been happening a lot. So sure. now I think I'm one of these days. I'm actually just gonna request off and completely just play all week all day nice dude that's maybe friday at, dude. i think i might do friday so because that's the thing you got to get in queue and then go ahead and play shovel knight or i mean uh hollow knight or something you know yep and uh dude oh man i watched the speed run of hollow knight recently man i thought i busted my ass beating the game and i got the crappiest ending there's more ending dude there's more than one ending and to get the true ending is actually fucking hard. <laughs> oh, God, I bet it's like not dying and collecting everything. No, no, there's just like a special, was it? Like a special badge or something that you have to collect. And I did not collect it because I was, I either ignored the area that it was in or I just didn't even run past it, you know? Yeah. That's kind of wild. 
<laughs> I thought it was tight, but no, I didn't even scratch the surface of that shit. Um, dude, what? I thought we were going to talk about something else. Oh, I'm winning our Final Fantasy VII remake bet, dude. Oh, yeah. No, you're not. Dude, I'm totally fucking winning it, dude. <laughs> no, you're not. So check this out, man. Check this out, right? I'm checking. Checking. Conspiracy theory. So uh, E3 is coming up, right? Is it in June? So we're yep. like less than two months away, right? It's about to be May. Um, <laughs> I just got reminded of that Justin Timberlake or NSYNC song. It's gonna be May. <laughs> but, so it's about to be May, right? So in June, we're going to get E3. Have you been getting emails still from E3? Yeah, dude, it sounds like they're desperate. I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, invite your friend for half off. And I'm like, I am fucking not doing that. <laughs> You're like, I'm not inviting myself. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, I was like, yeah, nope. So E3, you know, E3 always opens up uh, the weekend before with press conferences, right? Mm-hmm. Um. There's going to be a huge, huge empty space because Sony isn't going to be at E3 at all. I don't think they're going to have a booth. I don't. They're not having a press conference. Nothing, right? Um, they always had the last like time slot. Right, like E3 started on Tuesday. Um, PlayStation would always wait and see what everybody did they would see what microsoft what bethesda would do what ubisoft would do at their press conferences they, you know basically they saved the best for last right mm. it would always be six o'clock monday night that's when sony would have their press conference you know and they would always just own it up right um guess who is taking that spot this year square enix you fucking guessed it dude so they are <laughs> not gonna go and save the best for last just to th- show Bravely Default or fucking whatever game they announced last year where they showed like a cartoon trailer, dude. They have to have the big guns. There's no more Kingdom Hearts. Final Fantasy 15 is done. They canceled all the DLC for it. Final Fantasy 15 DLC had to die for Final Fantasy 7 to live. <laughs> There's still 14 that they're going to release because nope. they still 14 has out its with own, that. 14 has its own event they do their um, own fan fest what's that that no the, that one expansion coming out the gun blades and stuff yeah wait doesn't that come out gonna, this week no it's coming out um july or something like that so i'm pretty sure they're going to talk about that no, and nope. and that one game with the monsters and they're like cops the heroes are all cops or something you showed me a trailer of this the heroes are all cops yeah, or the protagonists were cops. And on the Switch? I think it's on the Switch. And they're fighting monsters or something like that. I don't remember. Was that Square? Was it Square? I don't know. They're not just going to show those two things, dude. And I, I really, they've never showed Final Fantasy fourteen at E3 like that anyways, dude. They did. Uh, what's that one game? One expansion. The, the, the Dragoon Stormblood? one. Stormblood? No, no, no. The, the Dragoon one. Heaven's Ward. Yeah, that one. They're not going to show it this year, man, because they're <laughs> going to show Final Fantasy VII Remake, and they're going to say releasing. They're going to say ten years from now, twenty twenty one, dude. I'm 2025. telling you, dude, I'm telling you, man. Twenty twenty five. Why would they waste all of our time with shit we already know? They're going to yep. drop uh, hey, a don't bomb for- on our faces, dude. Then, don't don't forget. Amazing. Kingdom Hearts 3.1. Okay, no, no. 3.2. No way, dude. No way. Kingdom Hearts was not oh a success. They might. They might. They might reveal Kingdom Hearts DLC. They might try to do Episode Mickey or something like they did with Final Fantasy 15. But no, dude. You're not going to come out and show us, you know, shit that already exists or shit that we already know. You know what I mean? Hitman 2 is, is done. They're not making Hitman 3 yet. That's not even Square anymore, you know? Yep. Um, Just Cause is done. They kind of fucked up with four, so they're gonna go back on the drawing board. They can't announce a new Just Cause. 
It's gonna be remake, dude. You gotta believe, man. Fourteen you gotta expansion. Believe. No, fourteen has its own fan fest in Vegas every year. They don't got anything else to show, dude. We already know they have to show it a second time. No, they don't, dude. <laughs> they showed Kingdom Hearts at every fucking press conference last year, dude. <laughs> there you go. They that it goes to show they're, they're gonna not show gonna do fourteen, 14 at every press conference. Fourteen is a super niche. Nobody even plays fourteen on the Xbox, dude. If they do, that's fucking stupid. Just play it. Oh, Oh, there you go. They're bringing 14 on the Xbox. <laughs> well, they would put that in the Microsoft conference, dude. I'm telling you, Final oh. Fantasy VII is getting a release date this E3, bro. Mm. This E3. I would let, let's make a bet, another bet. Okay, okay. Um, it has to be a burger. Let's bet burgers. Okay, from where? From where? Mm, probably the Balboa. Or okay. Something. Oh, Gravity Heights. Gravity Heights. Okay. Okay. I'm down. Pretty good burger. All right. So this E3, Square Enix has to announce a release date for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Okay. If they don't. This year. Okay. So if they do, which they will. Then and I'll you get you a burger. burger. I'll get you the double burger, no, triple wait, no, burger, this is too whatever tricky, burger dude. you this want, is too man. Tricky. Because... What if they just show it but don't have an, a release date? Then you owe me a burger. No, what because... the fuck? That's too, many, that's too many conditions. That's too many conditions. No, no, no. So, because it's I can still, get halfway. I don't get half still, a burger. It's still a concept art. It's still a concept. <laughs> they never worked on it. I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. Fine. Bet. We bet that here on How, A Hot Couch Potato. Bet. They're going to show Final Fantasy VII Remake with a release date this E3, dude. And the release want... date... This is just from me, my confidence. This isn't part of the bet, but the release date, 2021. Like I said, I, bro. I want a medium well nope. um, cheeseburger, uh, maybe a double patty. I'll, I'm going to go beast mode with my burger. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. You just remember that order for me when, when, when I win this <laughs> bet. Just remember that. Yeah, order. yeah when you, when you uh, buy me a burger. No, yeah. no, yeah. This I understand. is going to be the burger that's going to be on I'll your remember. tab on a plate in front of me. So, yeah, it'll be good times, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They got nothing. Square has nothing else, dude. What the fuck else does Square have? Oh, don't worry. They they come up with other games. <laughs> they come up with other console games. Oh. They do everything in their power. Look, look, look at Kingdom Hearts three. They <laughs> did everything in their power not to even talk about it until like a year before it was going to be released. Okay, look. Here's here's what they showed. Here's what they showed at E three two thousand eighteen. Right. Here's what Square showed. They showed Tomb Raider. That's out already. They confirmed they're taking a break from Tomb Raider because they got to realign shit. Oh, fuck. Life is strange. They might well, there you life go. Is strange. <laughs> fuck. Life is strange. Final Fantasy fourteen. Nope. Final Fantasy uh, Seven Remake. Life is strange. Okay. Babylon's Fall is what that game was called, where they just showed like a trailer, like a pre-rendered trailer, nothing else. Just Cause 4 already came out. Um, quiet man. Oh my god, the quiet man. <laughs> that already came out. Um, what else, dude? Uh, Monster Hunter World crossover. Uh, Dragon Quest Eleven. Fuck, is Dragon Quest Eleven out in America yet? It is, right? Uh, I think so. But hey, I'm looking at a Square Enix pre-order store, so there's gonna be number Final Fantasy Twelve on the Switch coming. <laughs> Um, PS4 gonna... Dragon Dragon Quest Builders 2. Oh, Ooh, they're that definitely not like getting that in there. Nope. <laughs> oh, on, Oninaki. That's coming. Uh, oh, fuck is Oninaki? Shit. Dude, Shenmue 3. That's not Square. That is Square. No, it's not. It's uh whatever that dude is. No, he's, he did that off a of Kickstarter. That's not Square. It's on the Square Enix website. Yeah, Square. No, dude. Shenmue Here, let me, 3 isn't fucking Square. Let me... Anymore. Let me... If anything, it's like bra. Sega, dude. They're probably just selling it on there for a good look. Well, either way, they'll... They're... they're I don't know. Okay, they're not going to talk about Shenmue 3. No, no, no. At they the will. Square. <laughs> no way, dude. No way. There's no way they're talking about Shenmue 3 at the Square Enix fucking... Uh, conference dude. plus that game comes out oh no it comes out in august i thought it come out, comes out in may 
By the way, there's no way they're talking about Shenmue at the Square Enix thing, dude. For real? Because <laughs> <laughs> they fucking, oh my that God, got kickstarted. That has nothing to do with Square. I'm telling you, they're just selling it on there to be a good look, man. Either way, they're collaborating, and they're going to be talking about their collaborator. No way, bro. No uh, way. <laughs> it's all right, man. Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming so, out. Closer so than you think, dude. I just announced five games, so basically they're going to talk about that. No way, dude. It's going to be the whole conference. It's going to be Final Fantasy VII Remake, dude. Be, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to start. You know, All the executives from Square Enix are going to get on stage. They're just gonna and say, they're gonna say sorry. We they're can't gonna say make Konbanwa, it this And then they're gonna fucking bow, dude. <laughs> they're gonna and bow they're gonna lower look. and lower. Kingdom but... Hearts three point one is coming out. <laughs> nope. They're gonna bow. One of them might even do like you know seppuku. You know we don't know. We don't know. They might. Oh and they're just gonna God. bow. People are gonna take pictures and shit. We're gonna see all the clicks and stuff. And, and they're gonna say sorry. We couldn't like, finish it in time. <laughs> Here it is, what you've been asking for this whole time. And then they're just going to show the comments, new trailer, some gameplay. A some Final Fantasy 16. Nope, the Final Fantasy <laughs> 7 remake, you know. And then they're going to show some, you know, game a live action gameplay demo. It's going to be great, dude. It's yeah, gonna, 16 wait. is going to be great. Can't wait 16. for E3, man. Can't wait for E3. It's going to be amazing. Google dude. 16. What is, how do you do X, Y, <laughs> me, I? I for seven remake dude it's gonna be amazing man because <laughs> man the last time we heard about this shit was fucking over four years ago man that's so crazy oh dude yeah there is a 16 in production they're not gonna fucking put 16 in this e3 <laughs> there's no way there's, there, it's gonna be seven remake and we're all gonna be amazed and i'm gonna go to sleep that night, very well fed. I like my burger. burger. It's gonna well be done. <laughs> They're medium it's gonna well. be fucking great, dude. It's uh, gonna be fucking great. I love great. pickles. Uh, <laughs> ketchup, too. Oh, those pickles that taste like blueberries, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. The blueberry pickles. What was the sauce dip? I forgot what she said. She said it was like dipped in something. Something. Yeah, yeah. But, man, I'm just that much more excited for this E3. It's gonna be amazing. I bet you it's gonna be uh, about 14. Nah, dude, it's gonna be about seven remake, man. Oh, what's fourteen divided by two? Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 seven wait. remake. Oh, oh, that was, that was pretty legit. Oh, the other game, I just realized. Uh, so Square Enix did near right or near? Um, I think they published it. Yeah, I think so. They're coming out with that other game, the one that's similar to near, but it's a it's like a sister version of it. She has like red hair or something like that. I bet you they're gonna talk about that. Wait, is that the one? She has red hair. What's it called? Yeah. Uh here, let me Google it. Meet Near's sister. Is oh, Project the... Eve. Project Eve. Is that the one uh, where she like kills shit with her hair? Mm, oh, and that game too. That's not square though, dude. No, this one. Um here, let me just copy and paste this. And then there's that one. Oh, and that one, the one that you, it was like Ghost in the Shell and uh, Cowboy Bebop. The one they're like fighting each other. The one where they're like fighting each other. What they're like a robot. Doing? One, the girl's a robot or something. Ah, oh, man. I don't remember what the game, what trailer was that? <laughs> but anyways, look at this one. And then. Golly. I print. Oh, wait. What was that game that I played at E3? Prototype demo. Square Enix, the... God damn it. What was this? this? Even name. Wait, I thought this... Wasn't this that game that it's like one Chinese dude is making it and that's it? No, that was the other game. The... God. See, why can't I remember any of these games? <laughs> God damn it. Because Final Fantasy VII oh Remake God. is happening. And it's no, be man. Fucking All amazing, see, dude. I'm... I'm Sending you literally all of you can you don't even have to look at the videos just <laughs> look at the pictures but those are the games oh this is the game that I was talking about the one with um where that chick's hair yeah dude I'm so telling you man they're doing that one and the one above that one yeah but they're not gonna and show 14. Those at E3 dude they're just gonna oh, show Final totally. Fantasy VII remake and it's they're gonna, gonna show another game. trailer of it too and they're gonna be like sorry we forgot about the, the other one. <laughs> 
tell you. They're gonna. <laughs> that's gonna be great. It's gonna be like uh, when the Priuses were fucking up. You know, everybody's just gonna sit up there and fucking uh, bow, and we're gonna see that. And I'm gonna be bowing back across the screen, dude. It's gonna be. I'm gonna say thank you for a wonderful burger. <laughs> Man, dude, when they show Final Fantasy VII Remake, I'm going to send an email to them directly with a picture of this burger and all the pickles. It's going to be And great. you bowing. It's going to be yeah, and me bowing back, <laughs> saying, arigato gozaimasu. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Fucking E3. It's going to be great, dude. Um, but, yeah. What else is going on, dude? E3 is coming up. That means Comic Con is coming up. That means PAX is coming up. This year is fucking flying by, dude. Hell yeah, it's already May, dude. Jesus. Going by too fast. God, yeah. Um, But yeah, damn, what what else is there to look forward to now? Not really anything else. Like all the Hacks. movies are out. Yeah, it's really the, the conventions now and the aftermath of everything that's coming out. Oh yeah, Save of Heroes. Which Save is good Heroes, because yeah. now we don't focus on things that are coming out. We have to focus on the things that are already out. Yeah, that's true. Boom. That's very boom, true. Boom, boom, boom. Get on your backlog while you're waiting in those queues, man. <laughs> 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 Shit. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I got, man. You got anything else going on? Uh, that's it. All right, we'll let Rick get back to uh, Game of Thrones, dude. We'll have a full spoiler review for you guys next week but until then rick some words of wisdom final fantasy 14 on e3 this year uh final fantasy 7 to 2025 i can taste that burger already see you guys next week